cool thing about it is that it's pretty interactive. Like if you just stand there taking photos and following the person on Instagram, you'll probably get a dancing woman coming and starting gyrating on your leg. Hey, it's Robert Morris back again from the Virginia Pilot and Pulse with the weekend happenings. Um, to be honest, though, it's kind of a lame weekend. I think we've got a Halloween hangover. If you need something to do tonight, over at Scope Arena, we've got a hip hop show that's really worth buying a ticket for. We've got uh, T.I., you know, a few years ago, he's one of the biggest names in hip hop, rapper, actor, novelist. Now he's a reality TV, show with a show, reality TV star with a show on VH1 and his like gaggle of kids. I don't know, he's got like 12 or 15, it seems like. Anyways, he'll be at the scope performing all of his hits along with uh, Kelly Rowland. You probably remember her from Destiny's Child. Though if you're like me, you might remember her more from Dying in Freddy vs. Jason, the film. Um, and Jeezy's opening the show. Not young Jeezy anymore. He dropped that thing. It's just Jeezy. So you got a nice trio of backs. Um, go over there right now. You still might get a ticket. If it's Saturday and you missed it, oh, that's too bad, man. That happens. But there's another show Saturday night for you. That is Erica Badu over at Chrysler Hall, 8 p.m. Saturday. Um, she's been here before, exactly a year ago, I think she was here, but she's always a good time. You know, the R&B singer who has a lot of jazz inflections in her music. Uh, Saturday night, 8 p.m., over at the Ferguson Center in Newport News, Capital Steps will be there. You know them as the comedy slash musical group that just skewers everything in Washington and D.C. and any politician basically in the U.S. border and probably beyond. Uh, they'll be back in for another dose of all things. Um, this year's album that they released is called Fiscal Shades of Grey, which kind of gives you the illusion they may be combining weird S&M pornography literature with all the stuff going on in D.C., which kind of sounds like it probably fits pretty well. Saturday night, you've got another chance to get people in costumes, really weird, bizarre, awesome costumes. Yes, we're talking about Gwar, the uh, Richmond metal band that's also one of the more inventive and unique art rock projects in the U.S. these days. If you don't know Gwar, they're basically a bunch of metalhead guys who dress in these weird, huge, cumbersome costumes that make them look like aliens slash cavemen slash monsters from about 100 years ago. At least that's what they tell people in their mythology. Uh, they'll be back again playing a gig where they do things like their speed metal, punk metal, whatever you want to call it, and also some theatrics like chopping the head off of a dinosaur and whatnot. A word of warning, though, with Gwar, if you're kind of like body sensitive, they do have large fake phalluses on their costumes. Just getting that out there for you. And if you know what we do here, you know we end this thing every week with a look at some of the big movies opening. Uh, this week there's a trio of films that are getting a lot of buzz for different reasons though. Uh, maybe the most buzzworthy one is Ender's Game. If you got kids, they might be talking about it. More than likely if you have 20 year old kids who are geeks and or nerds, nothing wrong with that man, I'm one too. Um, they've been talking about this for a while. It is basically a sci-fi space movie. Um, there's a lot of talk about it, it was a popular book series. People think it could replace Twilight as the next adolescent hit film franchise, but our critic Mel Vincent doesn't think so. He said the movie is very cliche, very stupid, and doesn't have a lot of action. Uh, one movie that's coming out that he did really like this weekend is Last Vegas. This stars a four pack of actors, Michael Douglas, Morgan Freeman, Kevin Kline, um, Robert De Niro, uh, as old bachelors who go to Vegas to celebrate the last single guy of the group getting married. Uh, it looks kind of stupid, it looks predictable. Mal says it's not, he says it's pretty funny and in ways you don't really expect and kind of touching and endearing in some ways, so what do you know? And the last movie we're going to touch on is maybe the most uh, controversial in some ways. It's 12 Years a Slave. It's a story about a 19th century black man who was free living in the North, but got kidnapped and sold into slavery for 12 years before he got out. Um, based on true accounts, it's a riveting story, and Mal said that it is probably the most violent film he's seen since Passion of the Christ. But he did say it's, it's very engaging, and it makes you really think when you walk out of it. So there you go, another shot of what's happening this weekend. Um, as always, if these things didn't uh, appeal to you, go check out uh, HamptonRoads.com. Our events calendar will have lots of stuff for you to do. Or grab the latest issue of Pulse. Until next time, later.